everybody, and welcome to the Hannibal High School's performance of The Very Unmerry Adventures of Robin Hood. Sherwood Forest is in danger of being destroyed, and it's up to Robin and his band of dim-witted merry men to save the day. When the sheriff challenges them to a contest to determine the forest's rightful owner, their skills are put to the test. Unfortunately, archery is only the first round. Robin and his men will have to also win a talent show and a beauty pageant. Will this be the end of Sherwood? Most likely. I'm Emma and I will be playing Robin. I'm Miss Plant and I will be reading for Merry Man number one. I'm Mrs. Ellis. I am reading for Merry Man number two. I am Faith and I will be reading for the Sheriff and Poor Woman number one. I'm Joelle, also known as John, and I'm reading for Soldier number one and poor woman number one. I'm Morgan and I will be reading for Maid Marian and the Peasant. I am Katrina and I'll be reading for poor woman number two and maid number two. And this is Savannah. She will be playing as the, the poor person and she will be our contestant for the sheriff. Uh, hello, my name is Andrew. I will be reading for Little John and Mr. Billy Shakes. I'm Mikey. I'll be reading for the announcer and Helga. Uh, I'm Tennessee, and I'll be reading for Will Scarlet and uh, King Richard. And this is Patricia, and she will be reading for Friar Tuck. I'm Alexis, and I'll be reading for Soldier Number Two and Four. Look, there's a robin. Where? Over there, it's building a nest. Don't scare me like that. I thought you meant Robin Hood. This is Sherwood Forest after all. Why are you scared of Robin Hood? I heard he's a nice guy. Because he steals from the rich and gives to the poor. There's a good chance we're gonna get robbed. Well, in that case, why don't we just go home and leave everything here? Save everyone some trouble. Because we have a job to do? Quiet, did you hear that? What? It sounded like a band of merry men prancing and hiding in the shrubs. Oh, probably just the birds. Quiet, did you hear that? What? It sounded like arrows being put on bows. Oh, probably just the wind blowing through the trees. <clears throat> Quiet, did you hear that? What? Sounded like an ambush of four men dressed in green. Oh, don't worry about that. It's probably just those gentlemen right there. Hello, chaps. Throw down your arms, if you please. My arms? I think he means our weapons. Oh, that would have confused me. You know who I am, I presume? I know you. You're Peter Pan. No, I'm Robin Hood. So, why are you wearing Peter Pan's costume? This is the outfit of Robin Hood, you twit. This here is Hunter Green. Peter Pan is more of a... Sea Green. Uh, more of an asparagus to green, I think. Yeah, sounds about right. Merry man number one go seize the goods. Merry man number two, report to me the amount of gold we'll be acquiring today. The merry men do have names, Robin. Little John, when I need your advice, I'll take it. Okay. So, should we go now? Or do you kill us? Do we feast? What's the normal protocol? Join us if you like. We're always looking for more merrymen. Oh, just what we'll call you. Actually, we have names already. I'm soldier number one, and this is soldier number two. No, I'm soldier number one. You're seven. Why would I be number seven? You got demoted, don't you remember? Well, now you're merry man number three, and you're merry man number four. I'm Robin Hood, and this is Little John. It's ironic. 
I figured. Good, Mary, then what's the telly? Axes. Axes. Terrific. Let's prepare the feast. Wait, did you say axes? All axes. Crates and crates of axes. Excellent. Golden axes. No, just regular axes. Plenty sharp, though. Definitely sharp. What are we going to do with a bunch of axes? You mean, there's no gold, no jewels, nothing? Well, there's... No, just axes. Well, I could have told you that. So why didn't you? You never asked. Who one of us now? You have to be more forthcoming about these sorts of things. We never said we wanted to join you. Why well, wouldn't you want to join us? We live in the woods. Would you rather be slaves than free men? Um, actually, we live in houses with our wives. We have swimming pools and granite countertops. Oh. And I'm putting a new deck up. You should see me game room. This is just weekend work. We're accountant. A game room? Really? Do you have benefits? Yes. Health, dental care, four weeks paid vacation. That sounds horrible. What are you going to do with four weeks? Two weeks is plenty. Besides, in Sherwood, we're always on vacation. We are. Can we go now? My wife's making dinner. And I have to pick the kids up from soccer practice. Get out of here. And tell the sheriff what you've seen. Good Mary men, get back here. Oh, we were just start collecting the axes. Uh, I was just trying to escape. There'll be plenty of time for that later. What are we going to do with all these axes? Blow the poor horn. <laughs> you know, I expect the poor to come out when we blow the poor horn. Isn't that what we got that thing for? Oh, Robin Hood, we came as best we could when we heard the horn. Have you got any gold for us, Robin? My baby is sick and she needs gold. No gold, I'm afraid. Or possibly jewels. Precious jewels would be fine. No, something better than jewels. Better than jewels? Oh, Robin. What can it be? Axes. Golden axes? No. Jewel encrusted axes? No. Good old fashioned axes. Great for chopping. <laughs> axes? We came out here for axes? My husband works at the axe factory. I can get them whenever I want. Did I mention that they're sharp? We don't want your axes. Beggars can't be choosers. Yes, we can. Let's go. Please, ladies, take some axes. <laughs> that was uncalled for. What are we going to do with all these axes now? I think the question is, what was the sheriff going to do with all these axes? What would... Anyone need this many axes for? They're yeah, for chopping, Mr. Hood. Yes, the chopping what I wonder. Well, would most likely. Seen him use on a chicken once, but that wasn't very nice. It, we know what axes are for. What we need to find out is why there are so many. Uh, you there, what's your business? I'm a sign poster. No, I mean, what are you doing in this forest? Posting signs. 
Uh, what kinds of signs? Reading's not my business. What do they say, Robin? What do they say, Little John? What do they say, Will Scarlet? Will? Where's Will? We haven't seen him all day. What? Uh, uh, who paid you to post those signs? The Sheriff of Nottingham. The Sheriff? I should have known. Do you know what this means? No, do you? The Sheriff captured Will Scarlet, and now we must attempt a daring rescue. Uh, how do you know Will's been captured? <sighs> He's not here, and now the sign's being posted. Something with axes. Isn't it obvious that the Sheriff is behind all of this? Uh, not entirely obvious, no, but I'm willing to jump to conclusions if you are. Hooray! Let's jump to conclusions! Rush decisions based on circle central evidence leads to adventure. Gather your weapons, men. We're off to save Will, if it's not too late. Very dramatic. Thank you. I think they took my hammer. Oh, can I fill your glass, William Scarlet? Hi, and I told you how you Call me Will. I'll call you whatever I feel like. Fair enough. Stop right there. Stop your disrag. Don't move. Very funny, Robin. What'll it be? We have come to rescue Sir William Scarlet. What have you done with him? I fed him. Fed him to the sheriff's dungeon, I reckon. You're clearly one of the sheriff's henchmen. This is the worst disguise I've ever seen. You don't even look like a woman. She's her wig. Nah. Ah. <laughs> I don't have time for this, Robin. Will you be having dinner or not? That's the thing. How do you know my name? You come here every Friday night. You had your birthday party here. Why would I come to the stress castle every Friday night? We only come here for daring rescues. You're not in the sheriff's castle, you dimwit. This is the inn. Oh. Uh... <laughs> so it is. So it is. How good is that? Is that you? It's the lighting. I could have. I could have. Sworn. Hold your tongue, little John, before you become littler John. Moving on. We're looking for Will Scarlet. He's been captured and. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I got it. This is your daring rescue. He's sitting right over there. Well, you're alive. <laughs> that could be poison, friend. I was eating that. What are you guys doing here? Who are rescuing you? From a decent meal. Well, you assumed you had been captured. Why is that? Well, we couldn't find you. And we were looking and you weren't around and... Uh... And, and there was that posting. What did it say? Well, you weren't around to read it, but it's from the sheriff, so it's something evil. And he's always trying to capture you. I told you I was leaving. You did? I told everyone. I don't remember. You threw me a going away party. Hmm. You were serious. I'm pursuing my bottle flipping career. Besides, it's all that matters. Sherwood Forest is a dump. It's cold and it smells, and all you do is steal from people and shoot arrows. What else is there? Sometimes we go on daring rescues. And we have cool tree forts. And on Fridays, we apparently come to this inn. I'm sorry. It's not the life for me. 
No one will never know what this evil posting says. Just give it to me. Hmm, yes. Interesting. Well, what does it say, man? Nothing much. Only that Sherwood Forest is being torn down by the Sheriff for development. Blasted! I know, Mr. John, I know. This is the corruption we must stand up to. And if we don't, who will? We must stop them. How? We will have to be cunning. Yes. And clever. Certainly. And we'll have to outsmart the sheriff. Great. So, what will we do? We'll be cunning, clever, and smart. Huzzah! And if we play our cards right, it'll end in a daring rescue and a party at this inn. Splendid! I hate to be the wet blanket, but that's a horrible plan. In fact, it's not even a plan at all. This is exactly why we need you, Will. Why don't you just steal from the rich and give to the poor? That's always worked out in the past. I like where your head is, Helga. But how could that possibly save the forest? Besides, we tried this morning and all we got were a bunch of axes. Axes? Wait, do you think... Those tree chopping axes. Well, at least they don't have anything to cut short forest down. Actually, they might. But I thought you... Well, we kind of just left them there. No, oh, brilliant. Actually, Helga, it wasn't very brilliant. Now they have all the action they need to chop down Sherwood. It's not brilliant. Now what will we do? We're doomed. Maybe Will's right. We'll join his band and become ball flippers. <laughs> You're not joining me. But it was your idea. I never said you could join me. Maybe we can be your roadies. No. Mm. Fine. I guess we'll just have to accept Helga's offer to become part owners of the inn. No! Get out! Waiters in the inn. Leave! Bus boys. Five, four, three. Thank you, Helga. Oh, Robin, I've been looking everywhere for you. We don't have time for this, Marion. You don't even know why I'm here. I've told you a thousand times. I come rescue you. You can't come looking for me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important business to take care of. Sherwood Forest is scheduled for the Is scheduled to be demolished, and you need to figure out how to save it. But stealing from the rich and giving to the poor won't work, so you need to come up with another plan. No one likes to know it all, Marion. But I was just... I think you've said enough. We have lots of planning to do if we're to stop the sheriff. We don't have time for your womanly trifles. Helga, show these women out. How about all Come of on. you get out? Come on, ladies. If these boys don't want to participate in an archery contest to save Sherwood and at the same time achieve fame and glory, then we'll just have to do it ourselves. That's right. You can't do it yourselves. Well, excuse me, Robin, but did they say there was an archery contest to save Sherwood? I believe they said something of the sort. Well, aren't you the greatest archer on all the land? What are you getting at, little John? Uh, shouldn't you be the one competing in the contest? That's a great idea, John. I'll compete in an archery contest with the sheriff, the one who gets ownership of Sherwood. Marion, we all know of the sheriff's fondness for you. Arrange the contest and we shall be forever indebted to you. 
It's already arranged. Excellent. But there's one condition. Anything for sure. If you win the contest, your merry men must marry my maids. I want merry man number two. No, I want number two. He's the cute one. You can have number one. He's a smart one. Not fair. Enough, ladies. Please wait outside. Mary man number two was looking at me. He was not. Wait, which one is number two? The one wearing green. What do you say, Robin? It's a deal. But Robin, we don't want to marry them. We like being bachelors. We must all make sacrifices to save Sherwood. Sherwood is more than just a collection of trees. It's a symbol of the forest of our lives. It's bigger than you or I, and it's up to us to save it, no matter the cost. There's not a thing I would not do to save my beloved Sherwood. Excellent, because you, Robin, must marry me as well. <laughs> um, um, you know, I never, I never really liked that forest anyway. It's so gloomy. Robin? Um, uh, fine. But we have to live in my fort. Oh, you boys and your forts. What about me? I'd love a wife. I'll take a Marion. Great, well, I'll be wed. On oh, second thought, I think I'll... You'll marry uh, me and you'll like it. Yes, sir. I mean, ma'am. Are you Robin Hood? What's it to you? Uh, my, my name's Billy Shakespeare. I've applied three times for membership to join you and your band of merry men. Although I haven't quite yet been accepted, I, I come to warn you of the sheriff's plans. Yes, yes, we already know. Scrum, William. We're uh, busy. I'll do anything to help. Applications for next year will be available soon. Well, uh, I've also already written a play about uh, you and your adventures. It's five acts. Sure, whatever. And... I'm sure it's great. Stand aside. Uh... Men, those that are ready, blow the archery horn. Oh! What have you got for us this time, Robin? Some hammers, maybe a box of rakes. I said the archery horn, not the poor horn, you fool. Sorry, Robin. They look the same. So you've got nothing at all? That's even worse than axes. Hell, God, feed these people. Dinner is on the house. So what's for dinner? The kitchen's closed. It's a beautiful day here at Nottingham Greens. It's the third and final round of today's Archer Open. The score is tied at two apiece. The sheriff has stepped to the, to the line and is preparing his bow. The winds have picked up out of the southwest. Not sure if that's going to affect the sheriff's concentration. <clears throat> All is quiet on the green. The sheriff looks tense. He knows that this shot may very well win the match. The love of his townspeople the respect of his men, his dignity, his honor. The pressure is almost too much to bear. <clears throat> Blood is dripping from every pore on the sheriff's anxious face. And if you look closely, you can see a bulging vein just above his right eye. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the look of fear. A very unattractive look indeed. Will you shut up, you annoying twit? It appears as though someone in the crowd has momentarily broken the sheriff's concentration. You! You're the imbecile whose soldiers arrest this man! A group of soldiers has surrounded me. Some are brandishing weapons. Not sure if this will have any impact on the sheriff's shot. Stop talking to that squid! My fish has been stolen. 
and I believe my life is in danger. Throw him into the pit. Oh, sorry, sir, but we ain't got no pit. Well, dig one, you moron. Should we arrest him and then dig, or should we dig and then... Just get him out of here. Please join us next time, live from inside of a brand new pit. This is Archibald Huxley, signing off. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Well done, Leslie. Not in public. Beat that Loxley of the hood. Um, it's Robin Hood. Loxley is just the town I'm from. Do it for me, Robin. Do it for us, Robin. And little John, too. Release. I knew you could do it. It was beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Let us all celebrate with a great feast, music, and dancing in our rightful home, Sherwood Forest. P.S. Punch and pie will be served at my fort. Three cheers for Robin. Hip, 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 hip who? Not Ooh. so fast, Mr. of the Hood. <gasps> what are you getting at, Sheriff? You've won the archery contest, but the fate of Sherwood Forest is to be determined over a series of events. Best two out of three. Marion, you never said anything about a second and third event. Oh, well, I was so excited that you would have the opportunity to save Sherwood. I must have forgotten the part about the other two. But we, everything in Nottingham is decided by archery contests. Yeah, we won. No matter, lads, we beat them once. We can do it again. Ready your bows, my boys. Actually, I had something else in mind. We can't decide everything with bows and arrows. That's blasphemy! For round two, I challenge you and your men to... Knife throwing? Not quite. Cabbage eating? Wrong. Tapestry weaving? Getting warmer. Fire eating. Close. It's a beauty contest. Ooh. Uh, 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 Sheriff, on behalf of me and my men, we accept your challenge. Not that it will matter. What did you have in mind for round three? A talent show. Piece of cake. Then it's settled. You're an excellent negotiator, Robin of the Loxley Hood. Choose the fairest amongst you and meet me by this runway in two minutes. And by runway, I mean this patch of dirt. But, sir, how are we ever going to win a blasted beauty contest? We don't even bathe. Never fear, men. In our presence is one of the fairest creatures in all of Nottingham. Oh, Robin, you flatter me. Little John, get dressed. Robin, you don't think I should. Wait, woman. We have a beauty contest to win. Where's my rouge? You can't be serious. Certainly you could at least use one of the maids. Good thinking. John, take one of their dresses. What about the talent show, Robin? Marion, you're looking at some of the most talented men in all of England. The talent show would have no concern. My maids and I are quite talented. Maybe we could help. Before she was my maid, Matilda was the harp player for the king. The beauty of her music brought tears to those royal eyes. And Melinda, she was a world-renowned acrobat and contortionist. 
she even performed for the Sultan of Peru. And last but not least, me, the most famous. Marion, I've heard quite enough. I could play the harp with my eyes closed, and the merry men are some of the finest acrobats in all of Nottingham. What we need are real talents, talents that will bring us victory. Merry man number one, what have you got for us? Well, I can juggle kittens, sir. Outstanding. Merry man number two, what's your talent? Well, I can do this. Very impressive. This is not an easy choice. Uh, don't forget me, sir. I have dozens of wonderful sonnets which I might read. Uh, I'm writing a five-act play in my head as we speak. Uh, in bears. I've told you before, we have no need for any talentless writers in our game. Uh, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Blah, blah, blah. That's the worst poetry I've ever heard. <sighs> I've made my decision. We're going with the kitten joggling. Not that it shall matter. The beauty pageant is about to begin. If you and your contestant are ready, Robin, I think we may begin. Proceed. Let me introduce the judges. First we have His Royal Highness, King Richard. To his left, we have Friar Tuck. And last, but certainly not least, Helga, the innkeeper. Oh! Ow! Ow! Let us have our first contestant. Cue the music, merry men. Go little John. Go little John. Judges, your scores. The tally for Team Robin is 11.5. There's no room for stupid in Sherwood. Well, there's already enough stupidity in this forest already. Enough, no, enough. enough. The scores stand. Your contestant was an unattractive brute. End of story. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, little John. We haven't lost yet. <laughs> Sheriff, let us have the next contestant. Round two goes to the sheriff's team. Are you kidding me? She was a pig! Open your eyes, ref! That girl was a cow! I demand a recount! It looks like the score is tied, Robin. It all comes down to the talent show. You won this run, sheriff, but you haven't seen the last of us. I know. I just said it all comes down 
to the talent show? Well, right. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around. Let the talent show begin. Sheriff, are you ready? Certainly. Let me introduce one of the greatest singers in all of the land, Miss... <laughs> a slight change of plans. Will you please welcome a brilliant young bard, an enchanting wordsmith, Billy Shakespeare. Please, sir, just call me William. William, Billy, whatever. Just read your blasted poem and it better rhyme. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's lease hath all too short a date. Sometime too hot the eye of heaven shines, and often is his gold complexion dimmed, and every fair from fair some time declines, by chance or nature's changing course untrimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest, nor shall death brag thou wanderest in a shade, when in eternal lines to time thou growest. So long as men can breathe, or eyes can see, so long lives this, and gives life to thee. Heavenly, simply divine. Such beauty I have never heard before. Bravo, young bard. That was mighty pretty. Your fancy words was very romantic-like. Boo! Oh, that was the worstest poetry I've ever heard! I, I call it a Shakespearean sonnet. Boo! Oh. You traitor. After we let you join our merry band, this is how you repay us. You told me to get lost. You called me nasty names. You were like a little brother to me. But you... Out of my sight. Come along, Billy. These men don't appreciate art. I appreciate art. The show is not over. Robin, is your man ready? Certainly. Here he comes now. Uh, a bit of a problem, sir. Nonsense. Get up there. What? All right, but... Just, just get up there and win. Well, if you insist. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the most talented juggler in all of the world, Merry Man Number One and his furry friends. Is, is this a joke? What are you doing? Well, I, I tried to tell you, sir, my kittens, they've run away! Run away? Well, what are you waiting for? But that was a kitten horn! Um, we don't have a kitten horn, sir. Why not? We have a horn for everything else! How are we supposed to have a kitten juggling act without any kittens? I, I I could juggle puppies. There's some over there. Don't be sick, man. Juggling puppies is dangerous. What if we dropped one? What would we do? Robin, please let me or one of the maids compete. Not now, Mariana. I'm trying to win this competition, not be made a fool of. Remember number two. Let me see that tongue trick again. It's good. But not great. Robin, you must present your contestant or you will be disqualified. Just a moment. We're having some technical difficulties. If only we're doomed. If only Will were here. He's the only one who could beat that poetry kid. I said, if only Will were here. I don't understand. Why don't you just let me... Uh Try to get If only Will Scarlet were here right now to save us in our moment of need. 
Fine, fine, but this is the last time. <laughs> Will, what a surprise. I had a feeling you'd come back. What's the problem now? We're in a real bind and we need you to... What? <laughs> Rob a convoy? Fight some soldiers? Rescue a damsel? No, Will. It's worse. A talent show. We need you to flip a bottle. I thought this day would never come. Go get him. And Will? Yes, Robin? If you win, I'll... I'll let you marry Marion. Nice try. She's all yours. Fine, have it your way. Just get up there. to be married. Let's go and register for gifts at the local market. You shall be my husband, Robin of the Hood. Yeah, sure, whatever. Kiss me. I'm busy. Oh, no. You were real pretty up there. Um, uh, I, I have to, uh... Kiss me. Uh, I, uh... You won this contest fair and square, Robin. Sherwood is rightfully yours. Thank you, Sheriff. It's all quite a shame, though. I guess my great dreams for Sherwood will never come true. Dreams, dreams. Sherwood is ours, and you'll never get your evil hand on it. <laughs> I guess I'll never be able to build that housing complex for the poor. Complete with an Olympic-sized swimming pool for the poor. Right next to an indoor gym for the poor and the medical center. And the free ice cream stand for the poor. Oh well, good game. Did you say free ice cream? That was my dream. But Sherwood is in Robin's hands now. An Olympic-sized swimming pool? Maybe even two. And a park for the children. But alas, that will never come to be. Accident Robin Hood. He never gives us anything good. It's always axes or stools or those little plastic thingies that put in pizza boxes. Yeah. Last week he tried to give me the bottoms of muffins. And they were week old. Curse that Robin Hood and his men. Don't look now, Robin, but I think the mob's getting restless. I hate the mob. Give Sherwood to the sheriff, Robin. Never. Or we'll burn it down. You can't. It's mine. Get him! Uh, maybe we should give it to them, Robin. After all, isn't that what we do? You know, give to the poor? Yes, but we are still stealing from the rich. This would be like stealing from ourselves. They look like they buy. I think they have our axes. Give them Sherwood, Robin. But my fault. You can live in my castle. And John, you can live with me in the inn. Oh, no. You can't live in that forest forever. Ah! We have no choice, Robin. They'll whip us to bits. All right, all right. The sheriff's gonna show it. Will you stop that? Sorry. I knew you'd do the right thing. I love you. No, whatever. <laughs> A noble choice, Robin. <laughs> Now, if you don't mind, 
Would you please sign here, here, and here, and initial here, and here. Excellent. Work on the minds can begin immediately. Yeah, whatever. Uh, excuse me, did you just say mines? Why, yes, I believe I did. I thought you were going to build homes for the poor. In an ice cream stand. Did I say that? I must have been thinking of some other forest. Sherwood Forest is to be turned into a sulfur mine. Don't worry, there will be plenty of work for the poor. In fact, I believe I'll force the poor to work there. For almost no pay, of course. Well... Good day. Well, I guess that didn't work out too well, did it? This is all your fault, Will Scarlet. What? <laughs> you had to go there and win that contest, didn't you? You're kidding! Always such a show off. That's it. I knew I should have never come back. Robin Hood, you are the stupidest man I've ever met. And I'm glad you lost your forest. It smells, it's ugly, and your thoughts are pathetic. A child could build a better one. Don't listen to him, Robin. Our thoughts are great. Well, they were great. I never liked that boy. Should we form another mob now? I don't have the energy. My spirits are crushed. Thanks a lot, Robin. Yeah. Maybe you can come by my hut later and burn it down. I'll just top it all off, huh? Yeah, when you're done with that, maybe you can poison my well. I've got a small garden that you can trample. Okay, I get it, I get it. I was only trying to give you what you wanted. Yeah, great job. Some hero you are. Ouch! Oh. Come on, lads. Let's go gather our things before there's nothing left of Sherwood. Do we still have to get married? Yes. At least I get the pretty one. Oh, I thought she was mine. She was mine first. Well, you thief. She's my wife. Wait, which one's the pretty one? Come along, little John. He's mine now, Robin. Uh, oh no. Come on, lover. There's work to be done at the inn. Uh, uh, sorry, Robin. Maybe we can get to another next week? No. Uh, save me! Looks like it's just you and me. Yeah, sure, whatever. You can build the fort in my castle. Can I have a rope ladder and a trap door? Whatever your heart desires. And there's going to be a secret password that only me and my friends know. And I want to moat around it. Reporting live from the pit, Robin and his men tried to recapture Sherwood Forest one week later, but failed miserably. The merry men married, and little John and Robin too. But they were never as happy as their days spent in Sherwood acting out the, the adventurous fantasies of little boys. And that's it. They found jobs in town. Pretty boring stuff. As for me, I lived out my days in this here pit. I think they forgot I was down here. So it goes. Two. 